Welcome back to the channel hope you're all well and thank you very much for coming back and joining me for another video so i have a piece of ash here around about eight inches across by just under two inches deep um a bit of burning gonna scorch it and um, we'll see what effects we get don't know how well the grain's gonna be don't know how tight or loose the grain's gonna be until obviously we get it turned but what we're gonna do is we're gonna burn the bottom of it brush all the grain out seal it and then maybe see what we get with some color um whether I'm going to put gill cream on it or embellishing wax, or whether I'm just going to put some dry brushing across it, I'm not 100% sure yet, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. So let's get on the lathe and see what we come up with. So I'm holding this into the lathe with 52 mil force and a bit onto my SC4 chuck. That's my preferred way of holding. So we're going to make sure it's in there nice and tight. We're going to round it off first to get a round shape, and then we're going to flatten it off, and then we're going to start getting our shape going to go for a continuous um, curve on the bowl to give us that nice um, graceful shape so I'm going to be using the 3.8 bowl gouge to start with just to get this round Got nice and round. So now we're going to face it. So just find our center. And we're gonna go for a mortise. My mortise is 52 mil, so 26 mil. So I'm using a power and tool to Mark my point. Just gonna put a line in there to give us a point where we're gonna go from. So now we we'll start getting our shape.
So we've got a shape. Don't want to burn this area here too much. So I'm not going to concentrate more on the edge here. And we'll gradually feather that in. So uh, let's get rid of some of these shavings. Because we don't want a fire on our hands. So uh, let's clear some of these shavings up. And then uh, we can then uh, burn it. I really want it to burn well because I want to brush out that soft grain. Like I say, I'm not trying to get down low too far. But enough to burn that soft grain out. Right, so I'm going to use a wire brush or a brass brush to clean out this grain. What we'll do is we want to go with the grain. We're trying to clean out some of that soft grain that's burnt. So you can feel with us, but we can go a bit deeper in that by burning out a little bit more. depth so I want that black now so I'm going to spray that with intrinsic black Hampshire sheen intrinsic black even So we've got a black um, Hampshire Sheen intrinsic black over the top of that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to sand and seal that to seal in our colour. So we've 
we're going to give it a couple of coats just to seal that wood. Make sure we seal it really well. see how dry that bit of wood is because there the seal is sticking on top but around the side here just soaking up really really well so I'm going to keep putting the sand and sealer on until it doesn't soak so much in and then we know we've got a good seal on it and let it dry off a little bit Gonna de nib that Scotch Bright. Give it another coat of sand and sealer, that should be enough to seal it up nice and tight. Now I want to keep this area here white. I'll we'll take it back to the original um, colour of our bowl, or timber shall I say. So I'm just going to run the bowl gouge along that, just to clean that off a little tiny bit, just to bring that back in line with the, so we can get that back to our original colour. So, I'm just going to quickly sand that a little bit. Let's apply some gold embellish and wax over that. So, we get a nice coverage on there. We're going to give the whole piece a nice coat, making sure we work it really well into the green. Just going to buff that off.
So as you can see there, we're going for that textured look where all the embellishing wax is in the grain. Um, on this particular style of bowl, we're not going for that smooth, soft, sheeny finish. We're going for the rough outside textured edge to bring it back to the, na the nature side of things. So um, we're just going to give it another coat of embellishing wax over the top of that. And then we're going to buff that off to... Um, you're not going to get a perfect shine on it because obviously it's not smooth. But the uh, embellishing wax will give it a, um, a nice finish due to the wax in the embellishing wax. I'll give that another coat, making sure we work it really well into the grain. Like I say, we're not looking for the nice smooth textured or the nice smooth finish on this particular bowl. That will come on the inside. So, we'll let that dry off, and then we'll buff it off with a piece of tissue. Buff that. And all the buffing does is take off the excess wax to leave the colour behind in the recesses or the loose parts. So there you go, it's got that nice texture to it, not smooth got that rough feel to it is what we wanted um, so let's get out and have a look so there you go just see the texturing in it it's not smooth it's got those it's got like the ridges in it where the soft grain has been brushed out so it's the total different opposite to what we normally do nice and smooth and silky this one has got that rough texture to it to give it the the roughness of it of the of the of the wood onto it so uh, right let's get the inside turned out we've got a bit of a crack in there so we'll see uh, how that goes off. Should be turning the gloves ready. Drop 
dropping everything Cause you're stuck on my mind My mind So just sit with me Talking to the night into the morning Building cat mystery I don't think I ever wanna go Come closer next to me Trying to find another way to say this But I think, I think Coats of micro, no, Hampshire sheen, high gloss wax in the middle. 
just to give it a little bit of a sheen. Like I say, we're not going for that high gloss, high look, but you can see we've got a nice little, nice finish on it. It's got a little bit of a sheen on it, nice rim on it. Got a little bit of bleeding through on the black there. And again, that crack, it's not very thick. It's perhaps six mil thick, if that. That's very light, very, very light bit of wood. But there we go. Nice little things. I'll get some pictures up at the end, as always, as the cameras don't do it justice, but nice little piece. Like I say, get a little bit of bleeding through there. Um, but that may be because I actually soaked it in, um, I perhaps was a little bit heavy handed with the black, but could leave that black, I suppose, if I wanted to. I think on the next one, I'd leave it black, but uh, nice little bowl. Anyway, guys, thanks for coming over and watching. Hope you've enjoyed. If you have, then please smash that like and share. If it's your first time to the channel, then I hope you've enjoyed. And uh, if you like what you see, then please uh, consider subscribing. Other than that, take care, speak to you soon and see you on the next one.